Hello, hello, welcome back to Montague's Mount. I'm Brazen Braden. I don't know what I've done. I prom I swear, I left you here on the beach with these <laughs> stupid sundial things, uh, compass things, uh, orientating or attempting to. And I tried to catch a recording as I did whatever the hell I did. I don't know. I did something. Uh, I'll tell you my logic, what I was trying. If you look at my map, the lighthouse is, you know, north here. North is always on top. And the arrow at the moment is pointing east. South, east, east. You know, and so I aligned these up here. If you can see, there's east, south, east, south. You probably can't see it unless you're watching this on like full HD. Well, 720. But I've aligned this to just below east, which is where the arrow points on here vice versa for the other two and it seems to be almost it seems to be like pixel perfect sort of thing tinker 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 eventually click something happened and I got a little um, checkpoint saying that something some clicking was heard off in the distance which we have seen before um, but that happened just now right now I haven't gone any further I promise I was messing around with these compasses for a while and um, Something clicked. Uh, it's been a bit of an annoying little trial and error uh, story. That has to be said. I can only assume the clicking has happened up here by the actual lighthouse. Uh, I, 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 I don't know for sure. That's why I'm headed over here now. Past this wonderful pile of dead bodies. Just to find out what, what, what the hell clicked. You'll see here. Like this one here. This should still be in the right position. If you can see that, it's pretty much on north. And if I look where I'm looking, I'm pretty much just past north. And that's what I did there. And I did that for the other one as well. Okay, so that is all hunky-dory. This could very well be to the, the passageway to the caves. Because looking around here, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Uh, I think this may have to do with the 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 gate to the caves, which were which was closed last we checked, like uh, last episode, I believe it was actually. Um, we are now on episode, I think seven. I correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm trying to keep track here, but you know, I do I, I do my best with what I have. There we go. I've risen down six down. Should be on number seven. I don't know. Um, what is that? I don't remember seeing that before. It's a pillar with like three light bulbs on the side. Anyway, they all red. I, I don't know if they're supposed to be green, but I did get a checkpoint. So I did, uh, uh, I did do something correctly. I don't know what it was, uh, but I've done it. So let's go see if this, um, this other gate to the caves is now open, which I believe was. A, what's back here? Is there a secret? No. Uh, okay, let's let's head back up this little hill and uh, see. I hope you're doing well. I don't know when you're watching this. You know, it's, I hope you're enjoying this series. It it's it's an interesting one. A religious stone. Can you believe this? This is a religious stone. Very faithful in his devotion to the god rock of of ages. Nah, I don't know. Okay. I think this is... Wait, where are we going? Hang on a second. This is new. Yes, okay. Ah, okay. So this opened. This was the... If we look at this sign here, this will say caves. And this was closed last time, but now it's open. So that's what that clicking must have been. We're going to head down here. We can go up, down, and through the middle. We're going to head down. Let's see what this note has to say. 21st of December, 1993. Lighthouse. Solitary gaze is guarding this place, keeping the outside world at arm's length. How many people have succumbed now to this disease? or have chosen suicide out of sheer desperation. If only I could get through this gate. 
Maybe there are still people in the hamlet in Blind Fox's tongue. Help. I must find help. Blind Fox's tongue. I don't know what that is. It sounds like a pub. Oh, I'm so good at beginnings, but in the end I always seem to destroy everything, including myself. Kara van Gelder. I don't know. Okay. So we've got what looks to be a... Uh, my feathered friends have once again returned, casting their watchful gazes over me. They appear to be totally untouched by the vacuum that has left everything else so impotent. Are they the last remnants of an island that once drew breath? An island so full of color and life? I seem to remember this place. Yes. A strange voice from the past. The warmth of the sun on our backs as we skipped stones through the surf. Alrighty. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, we've got some sort of shrine. Or uh, possibly some sort of mini uh, mausoleum. Because, I mean, this ends quite shallow. There's space enough, I guess, for a body in there. But I don't know. I did pick up a cross. And we have... Oh, wait. What's down here? Ooh, this... The path continues. But here we've got some sort of house. Uh, some sort of hut. Uh, do we have power? There's no light switches. I found a secret area, apparently. I thought this would be quite obvious. People would have come in here. But alright. There we go. Oh. 3 dash 51. I'm just writing everything down because I just don't know if anything is of any importance anymore. I can't pick up anything, so there's no there's no special postcard in this one. Uh oh oh two dash thirty two and a cross. If this was a secret area and it wasn't intended to be found People wouldn't have gotten all the all the, the crosses, all Bridget's crosses. We got a safe here. Uh, and we've got your oh number four. So these are obviously the sequence of the codes. 79. We're just looking for number one. Ah, it's right there on the floor. Number one is five. Alright, I think we've got the codes. So we need to have five for number one. Number two is 30, 32, 51, and 79. Let's see if that did the job. I think it did. I think it did. We're, we're in. Maybe this has the postcard because this is a secret area after all. Ah, there it is. Images of Ireland. Cut peat stack. Three out of five secrets found. And we've got pictures of wood. Got wood? They do. Alright, fantastic. I don't know what the point of that all was, but hey. Uh, good. Good job. Uh, good job. Let's see. What, anything in here of interest? Another cross? No? Nothing? Alright. We can hit a... I, d I don't even know. This, this shack was obvious. You know, I mean, look at that. You arrive in here, you're like, oh, there's a shack. Oh, but no, it's a secret. It's a secret place. Ah, I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's continue down this path. We will see what we have here. The remnants of another shack, it looks like. There's another cross here. I'll have that. All right, got 14 so far. We got another note. 20th of November, 1993. Chest pains. With all the boats long gone, it seems like we are all now at the mercy of either the weather or the plague. Peter and Rachel are both bedridden with the illness, and I too have been developing chest pains. I keep telling Rachel that it will all be over soon. <coughs> this is terrible. Rachel and Peter, the son and the wife, both sick. Uh, wife pregnant. I don't know if she's popped yet, but um, but this is not 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 good. What do we have here? 
I don't know what's the point of opening these things. None of them ever contain anything. We've got... Oh, hello. It's another, it's another corpse. A dead man, God rest his soul. And we have here... Some sort of frame. There's a light behind it. You can see those beautiful lens flares happening. Another dead woman, God rest her soul. Um, all these people just died where they're sitting in the from the plague. Disastrous, isn't it? A bit disastrous. All right. What what does the sign say? The caves are straight up ahead, apparently. So we we can still go up. We haven't been up yet. But um, we're heading down onto the beach again. These must be the caves. Uh, oh, checkpoint. I guess that's a good thing. Let's see what this is. 3rd of December, 1993. Beautiful Anya enters the world. Anya. Beautiful Anya was born today. Rachel lost quite a lot of blood, and that, coupled with the disease, has left her very weak. Peter, too, has begun fading over the last few days. I know he is strong, though, and will fight the infection. Maybe we will be over the worst of it soon. I hope so, too. Beautiful Anya. It's quite a nice name, actually. I've never seen spelling like that. It's like I, or A I N E Anya Aina. I don't know. Uh, I assume we're heading into these caves. I haven't been upstairs. I, I don't know what's up there. It's still a gate we have to go through, so... I guess we'll just find another note or something in here. Possibly. Hello? We got some wind chimes. And a cog. And, uh, what, what the hell was that? This is a... A candle. Alright, so we got a candle. And a cog. Anything in here? Oh, there's something in here this time. What the hell is that? What is that? I can't take it. A pine wardrobe. Yeah, I know that. But what's inside the pine wardrobe? No, it's not letting. It's not letting me know. It's not letting me know. Nineteenth of December, nineteen ninety-three. Shallow graves. The strain of everything is getting too much for me now. I hate this place. I hate this fucking place. I found a pile of bodies on O'Sullivan Strand today. But that was the last thing I remember. I awoke, saturated from the rain next to two shallow graves, still clutching a makeshift shovel. These bouts of darkness seem to be getting far more frequent now. My gosh, see the blood on the paper, maybe from the coughing while trying to write it? My word, it's getting a bit dark, isn't it? Alright, so... There's more graves over there. Wow, okay. What do we got? We got a boy or whatever. Is it a mooring boy, as I thought? Over here, we're heading over to some sort of graveyard, I guess. We got something back here, maybe a secret area? No. There's a hut or something going on. Let's go to check out this graveyard first. See what's happening in this graveyard. We got here a sign. Oh, there's two signs. This one is to McKenna's Dock, which is down that ways. And this is Blind Fox's Tongue, which I guess is the... The grave. Oh. Blind Fox's tongue. Welcome everyone. Hope you enjoy your stay. Everyone's dying to meet you. Oh, the boy's there. Do you see him? Okay, I'm not no, go away. Go away, you kid. I'm not looking at you. Oh, isn't this romantic? First the images We're within the cave, and now this. I need to remember. I need to remember. What was I? 
before this darkness and confusion came down all around me. Now I know I belong here and my family are here, somewhere here. I wouldn't have left them, would I? No one in their right mind, no sane person would have abandoned their own flesh and blood. But am I of right mind? Am I so sane? I must find them. Yeah, indeed you must, chap. We got you. A note to self, I have placed a candle in the storage box for safekeeping. I will need it later to get through the gate in McKenna's dock. Okay, we've already found one candle. There's a bar blocking the wood lid. Oh, this one here. Can I move it? No, it's attached to this. Maybe I should examine the diagram again. Okay. To open the lid, construct the mechanism below. One, two, three, four. Okay, we already have one of these gears. Ah, look at that. One, two, three. So that's the third one there. We need to find another two gears. Uh, to plug into those two. Which should have the, the mechanism open for us. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. Look on this table. We've got another cross there. We've got some sort of woodpecker toy. whole bunch of photos. Uh, another... What's this? Another candle. We've got two candles now. Two candles. We need to find the rest of those cogs. There's a boy over there. I'm going to go see him. Ooh. The horror of the pit lay in the emergence from it. With the return of her will, her caring, and her feeling of the need for meaning before the return of the meaning itself. Joan Greenberg. I apologize if I'm not reading this with any poetic flair, but they disappear very quickly. So I'm just trying to get them read before they fade out of existence. Alright, what do we got here? A toilet. Is a toilet. Just, just sitting here. Just a random toilet. That's alright, I guess. Look, there he is. Must be Peter. Go away, Peter. There we go. Alright. 27th of December, 1993. Gone. Where have they gone? I awoke to find our house empty. I think it was our house. They must have headed around the coast to look for help. Maybe they are heading up to the mount. Why would they have gone without me? Peter, Rachel and Anya. Out there somewhere in all that rain. I must go look for them. Yes, look for them. But I'm so tired. So very tired. I still don't under understand the spelling of Anya. A with a dash, I and E. Anya. Anya? I don't understand. What do we got here? Yeah, I found Evan McLaughlin's grave. Evan. Evan. It could be a guy, it could be a girl, I don't know. His name seemed to be. What was it? Irish? Or something in, in, in nature? Got the toilet here, the bog. That looks pretty nasty. A dirty toilet. Indeed, it is dirty. Let's, uh, let's not go wandering around in there. That's probably where the disease came from. Uh, what else we got? What else have we got out here? We've got... Bugger all. Bugger all, just some broken sheets of... It looks like roofing sheets, actually. In, in here. Oh! Hello? A deceased man. We've got pictures. Oh, hello. I'll take that cog. <coughs> and a deceased woman. Another candle. I think my inventory is almost full up. I've got space. Oh, look at this. Do you see that glowing? I got another candle. I've got a shit ton of candles. Let's see what this is. 29th of December, 1993. Seek out McKenna. I need to seek out McKenna's hut. He's left a riddle to solve. 
to help get through the final gate leading to the folly. Something to do with light and heat. I'm hoping Rachel has managed to get there with the children. I'm hoping she has found help. I'm hoping the children are okay. Alright, light and heat. Obviously the candles play a role here. Uh, of which I have like four. Yeah, four candles. I don't even have space for the next cog. Should I find it? Um, I need to go and put down this other cog first. Uh, if I ever hope... Oh, look at these guys, man. Shame. Look, they were, they were holding hands as they just... As the life just left their bodies. Oh, clearly they weren't that sick that they were well enough to sit at a table. And somehow these candles just stayed lit and haven't, you know, b blown out or... I mean, considering it's been raining like there's no tomorrow, there's a freaking hole in the roof above them. They're alright, the candles are fine, still at full, you know, full steam ahead. Let's not argue with that, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't see much else here. I may have to come back uh, to this house, find the, the final cog. Because we are still missing that one. And I have not seen it yet. Unless, no. <coughs> it's not that. It's not up there. Alright, let's go put this cog down. Is there something back here? No. Just drums. Uh, empty, uh, empty barrels of stuff. We'll put this one cog down. Uh, this one. Number one. Okay. So we've got a bunch of, of, of candles. We need to find this last cog. Where? I said cog, not cock. Cog. Listen. Pay attention. Good gracious. Um, let's go down this way. This is to McKenna's place, which is sort of locked up I, from what I understand anyway. Uh, but we may find what we're looking for on our way there. 15th of December, 1993. What happened in the fog? I saw Rachel carrying a sack the size of a small child down the slope at McKenna's dock and out into the sea. She entered the fog bank and I lost sight of her. I cried out to her, but she didn't hear me. The sack? A sack the size of a small child? That is not boding well, it has to be said. Uh, Anya? Maybe? Peter? Oh, I don't like that. Okay, so this is, what, fan a much? Geta. Geta, <coughs> a gate. Alright. We've got some sort of spotlight here. Oh, McKenna's dark. Welcome, everyone. Okay. Duga Mitch Koyen, I don't know. There's another candle. I saw another candle on that table, which we can pick up. But then what do we do with all these candles? You see, there's one right here. And there's a fuel. fuel. Maybe I should take the fuel instead to power up this Jenny. One, two, three, four. We got power. All right, spots are on. We've got. Oh, that one, okay, that one's on. There's a candle. I don't know if I want to pick this up. I, I think for now I'm just going to save the one final slot. Oh, there he is. There's the cog. I got it. I'm going to go do this cog first before I come back here, because I believe I need to get that final candle that's up in the shack. So I may as well get it now. Uh, instead of wasting time because I don't have the inventory space to hold any more candles. So many candles! I mean, look at this. Four candles and a cog. It's my inventory. Alright. Uh, wooden gear number two. There. Close that. And chugga 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 chugga. <coughs> there it goes. Nice and slow. Yep. Good. 
good, another candle. Yay! <laughs> like I don't have enough. Okay. I got a checkpoint though, which is good. There's a there's my candle. Thank you. Item has been added, blah blah blah. Okay. Let's get back down to McKenna's docks. McKenna's dock or whatever it is. Not McKenna's cock, McKenna's dock. Uh, yeah, and we've got five candles in our inventory. We're full up on the old candle. We've got another one sitting here that we could possibly pick up once we, I guess, dispose of these other ones. We have to light these, put these candles down somewhere. <coughs> I'm assuming in here, yeah, somewhere. Look at this. Yeah, we go. Look. Oh, yes. There we go, one more candle needed to obviously heat this, uh, create heat which makes air rise, which will make that thing turn. So this is the final candle here. Got it. And we can now activate this. Oh, only with uh, an enlightenment heat can progress be made. What? Only with enlightenment can heat and heat can progress be made so we've made the heat I assume uh, uh, we've got this message on the wall here as well <coughs> and we've got some sort of dodgy looking fireplace anyway let's see what's this do oh I can't switch on the power oh the power's on so that's alright okay anyway I'm going to end this episode here uh, we've done a lot actually uh, cogs candles you name it we've done it all um, I hope you're enjoying this so far please do hit a like hit a subscribe tell your friends leave me a comment whatever etc etc and I will see you for the next episode uh, shortly so until then have you all and bye